Greetings, my friends. Charlie here. Let's have a look at what PUBG has to offer today, the 14th September 2017. There's been an update. New gun, some fog, and some other bits and pieces you may not know about. Let's kick back and relax. Let's do it. Oh, oh, he's got the tummy gun. Get Rex Rubbleton. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start at the beginning with what I think is the biggest thing implemented this patch, and that's the fog. It is massive, it is awesome, and it's going to be a pain in the ass. As you can see here, coming in from the plane, it is thick and it is everywhere. There seems to be no relief. Now I had my mate Boof run across a field, and before he got halfway to a fab shack, I could barely see the guy. So you know this is going to make for some really creepy and intense gunfights. Also, you can't see across the bridge, which I guess is good or bad. Fucking bridge campers. Also new, when you're in free look mode and you're lying on the ground looking around, if you turn too far one way, your player kind of moves, or when you snap back, your player moves as well. No more. Hold down that button, turn to your heart's content, let go of it, it'll snap right back to where it came from. So here's something new, you can now change the colour of your crosshairs. That's right, everything from white to black. Um, black doesn't really make any sense, but whatever. I would honestly stick with uh, white or yellow, they have the brightest colours. If you go any darker than that, you may be in for a bit of trouble. But it's really easy, just press escape, settings, gameplay, and there it is. Crosshair colour. Nice. Now to complement the fog map, they've also given it some pretty freaking eerie sounds. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll be quiet for a second and have a listen to this. That's a little bit creepy. I might also add at this point that it is going to make drops from planes super hard, especially if you're not right underneath the line of the plane. But uh, yeah, you'll figure it out eventually. I'm sure we'll get used to it. You know when you drop your gun, you have to pick it up and then uh, plug it back over to uh, auto, if you're using auto after it's uh, reloaded? Not anymore. Now, when you drop the gun and pick it back up, it goes back to the state that you left it in. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if you guys try and understand the recoil patterns of guns, but I certainly do. So what they've done in this patch is they've also lessened the amount of horizontal recoil. The vertical is still pretty wild, as uh, you can see here. I'm uh, pretty much holding the mouse completely still and letting the gun go what is effectively straight up. So this is an M4, and I did it twice, as you can see. It's a pretty standard pattern. So that's good. They've definitely reduced. <laughs> definitely. The horizontal recoil, that's left and right if you don't know what I'm talking about. Do you guys know they put a new town in? I did. It's kind of cool too. It's called Kameshki. Northeast corner of the map. Kameshki? Kameshki? I'm just going to call it Kameshki. We can break this thing into two parts. Lower Kameshki, as seen here, and I guess upper Kameshki? It's only separated by about 12 feet, but those 12 feet I think are going to make for some really, really exciting fights, especially considering all the um, hills around it, absolutely fantastic. Also, we noticed Stalba. It has <laughs> new bits and pieces to it. There is a comm center uh, with a tower and all that kind of cool stuff, and some uh, some buildings on the back right-hand corner, the northeast corner. I will assume they put a lot of these additives all the way through the map. These are just the ones that we saw. I like it. Kameshki, uh, let's try and get into a fight there. I dare you. Bring it, punk. And last but not least, the new gun, the Mini-14. This seemingly mid-range science looking sniper rifle is actually quite good. It only takes a 5.56 round, which as we know is not massive, but it's enough to put a hurt on someone. It takes all the sniper rifle accessories, from uh, silencers to extended mags and everything from a red dot up to an eight times. I'm assuming 15 times, I never saw one. But it is a good, good little gun. Not so great from the hip, um, but uh, it's quite steady. It is really steady with an eight times, I can tell you that much. Well, that's the patch review, guys. Um, there was a lot of stuff we didn't cover. There's also, uh, you can now cook your grenades properly. You can hold them in the throwing position, but they won't actually start to time until you press, I think it's G? Yeah, G. Then you start cooking it. It is uh, pretty cool. It's also leaning left and right. Animations are being changed. You're so... You show less, the more you lean. It's uh, it's pretty cool. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm Charlie. Much love. There he is. Please. I can hear him. Ah! I missed everything. <laughs> oh, oh, Butch! He took me out of him. <laughs>